So I kind of put in on the side over here a note. If you'll look at this, in examples one through three, we just got done working number three, the absolute value portion was already isolated, meaning our equation or our equation here had the absolute value bars on one side and it was equal to some number. Looking over at example four, um, I kind of made a little note for you guys. If your absolute value portion is not isolated, okay, if that's not the only thing on one side and it contains a numerical factor outside of the bars, meaning if you look at the example four, it's outside of the bars, you must isolate the absolute portion first before you separate and create your two equations, okay? So let's look at example four real quick. Principally, we're going to be doing the same thing um, once we isolate our absolute value bars. So if I wanna get this portion right here by itself, how do I get rid of the negative three that's on the left side? You add it, so the same, you're, you're not changing any kind of equation process of moving your variables left and right. I'm gonna rewrite this as 2x plus five, and it's still in the absolute value bars. That's one of the mistakes that students make is they drop the bars too soon. This is equal to eight plus three is 11. Now from here, my absolute value is isolated. Now I can create my two separate equations. Remember, we're gonna look at the inside portion needs to be 11 or negative 11. So I'm gonna set 2x plus five equal to positive 11, and 2x plus five equal to negative 11. And then I'm gonna solve from here, okay? So minus five on both sides. And that's what makes this just super easy is since these are basically identical left side equation, getting x by itself is gonna be the same process throughout. So 2x equals 11 minus 5 is 6. 2x equals negative 16. From here we divide off 2. x is equal to a positive 3. x is equal to a negative 8. And then obviously we want to write our final solution in bracket notation. So negative 8 comma 3. And this would be my final answer for this portion. Does that kind of make sense? Okay. Let's go on to page five. And actually, you will be working example five on your own.